Hello! Welcome to the third and final Valdemann fountain pen review. This pen was sent to me on loan by Luxury Brands, and then we decided, hey, we should give this pen away. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it right here in this video. Um, well, like on this video. And uh, I will give you information on how to enter at the end of the video. And so that means you gotta watch it or like scroll to the end. Sorry, that's just the way it is. So thank you to Luxury Brands for sending this over and for donating it for review because it's very, very pretty. Um, like really pretty. And uh, I think you guys will like it a lot. So I also like it. So this is a sponsor video and don't worry, we're still gonna talk about the likes and dislikes. If you don't like it, you can go. Yay. Okay, so the pen is a Valdman. This is the box. We're not gonna show the box in too much detail up here because I'm gonna drop everything and hit myself in the face. This is the pen. So it's very pretty. Hello. Um, <laughs> uh, if you've watched the last two videos, uh, I've done the Tuscany, the manager, and the one in the middle is this one. That's the one we're gonna do today. It is called the Precieux Black Diamond. Now it has a black lacquered barrel and a really, really beautiful cap. So it is silver, but it's like faceted with like these like long diamonds and uh, okay, the fine diamond cut wave pattern. It's really pretty. I'm really a big fan of this design. It is like absolutely gorgeous. So, sorry, um, it's my hair, it's tickling me. Um, I don't want to tell you too much about Valdemar again in case you've seen the other two videos, but I'll tell you a little bit. They've been around since 1918 making pens in Germany. They still make them in Germany. And um, they use like craftsmanship from, that's been around for a while and like skilled craftsmen. And like, really, it's a really beautiful pen. All other pens that I have here are really pretty. And um, like, they're, it's, it's just unusual that we haven't seen them much in North America, but now we've got a distributor, so now hopefully we'll see them a little more. And they just add some diversity for us, right? It's just an option for a, a pen that maybe you had not considered before because you'd never really seen, but now you can see it. So um, the other highlight for this company is that they offer a 10-year warranty. Uh, that's pretty wicked. That's pretty unusual in the pen world from a manufacturer, like a bigger company. So thumbs up to Waldman. Uh, the Questia model lives up to its name and is impressive with its noble feel as well as its exclusive finish. Okay, that came from the Waldman uh, website. I don't really know what a noble feel is. Maybe like the weight, like how substantial it feels. Um, but we will look at it in more detail and you can decide for yourself how you feel about it. So let's pop down onto the desk. Let's unbox this baby. Let's write with it. And I will give you giveaway details so that you can enter to win this beautiful pen. Awesome. See you in a second. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the video. And well, the writing video, the unboxing part, the dust down part of the Waldman Precieux. Let's take a look at the box first. Um, if you have seen the other two Waldman reviews that I did, which was the Tuscany and the Manager, uh, you will know how I feel about the packaging. It's a little large, but I love that it's consistent between the models because if you have multiple models and you're the kind of person that keeps your boxes, then you only have to deal with like the same size. I hate when companies change it up. So that's awesome. Um, I think it's a little large, but whatever. I can live with it. Um, all the black is, sorry, blowing out the... The paper, it's horrible. It's got the steel plate right here, or chrome plate. I really like that touch. I think that's a nice little, little, little bit of detail. And if we open up, the pen was sitting on the bed. Um, inside, we have the warranty card, which is not filled out because it's on, well, it's on loan and it's gonna be given away. But um, the warranty is 10 years. It has the um, standard international cartridges. It comes with a silver polishing cloth because cloth, because the pen is silver capped. It has the little sterling silver 925 made in Germany thingy tidbit. And you actually want to see the pen in detail, right? You don't want to see the packaging. The box is really nice though. I think it actually suits the pen really well. Um, it's just a little big, but that's okay could be worse. Here's the pen. 
It is gorgeous. I think it's absolutely stunning. It is the Precieux Black Diamond. It has a fine gold nib, black body, silver cap. Um, on the cap, there is a fine cut diamond wave pattern, um, brilliant black, lacquer, highly polished. Solid spring supported clip, fantastic clip. Um, the parts are rhodium plated. It has a screw cap, 146 millimeters closed, 13.5 millimeters diameter, and a 58 gram pen. So it's pretty heavy. Um, obviously, most of the weight is in the cap. I love the shape of the pen. I think it's really pretty. Definitely picks up fingerprints on the silver bits, but I think it's really, really pretty. I really like how it looks. So let's uncap it. Um, silver section. Let's look at the gold nib before we continue. It is very, quite fine actually. Single slit round breather hole, um, 1918 Waldman. Just looking at it, it is a fine um, two-tone and it has a small plastic feed. So like, it's just not, I don't know, the nib looks a little small for the diameter of the section. So like it's almost perfect, but not quite. And uh, I do like the shape of the section though. It is less, uh, less slender than like the Tuscany, for example. Um, so I do like that it's a little thicker, a little more round. So that's a good thing. The pen is, sorry, I'm just trying to lower my lights here to adjust to the changing light outside. Just got to suffer with me while we do this. Quite comfortable size, um, comfortable diameter. I don't think this, yes, it does post. Super heavy, quite snug, but it's really heavy. So ideally, I think you're gonna be using it unposted. Now the converter in here is very nice. Okay, I have to say, that's really pleasant. Ooh, nice and quick. Um, beautiful converter. It's very elegant. It's just, I know it's just a, like a standard international, but it's really pretty. I like the little detail here. Oh yeah. So there's the pen. Um, my real beef with it is the tiny nib, <laughs> I guess. Um, the engravings are very clean. It's a very elegant pen. Now it is pretty expensive at $630 US. But um, I don't know, maybe it's your thing. Let's do some writing. Oh, I didn't even, sorry. I'm looking at the page and not my camera. So hopefully you saw that. And if you didn't, I will just be more careful. Oh, this nib is really nice. Yes, yes. It is fairly smooth, just a touch of feedback, which I like. Um, I like on finer nibs because then I, I just have a little more control over the nib. It is like, surprisingly springy. I mean, it's not a flex nib, but it's springy. So for those that like their um, gold nibs to be springy and bouncy, it is definitely that. Um, medium wetness, unless you're applying a bit of pressure, then you definitely get a juicier writing experience. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's almost like ground like an architect. Let's see. Um, yes, it is. Interesting. Do you see it? I know. I'm sorry. I know it looks terrible through this. I'm going to stop doing that. I'm sorry. I'm probably making you puke. Um, you could just see it in the lettering. It's not super round. Uh, really nice. Whoever wins this, you're getting a heck of a pen. This is a really nice writer. So even though the nib is a little silly and small, it is a superb writer. 
Oh my god. So I have used three of the Waldmans now. The Tuscany, uh, in this recent uh, batch of uh, reviews, the Tuscany, the Manager, and this one, the Precieux, um, although I didn't care for the Manager as much, all three have written really well, and the Tuscany and this one are to die for writers. Super pleasant, really enjoyable, and um, definitely worth taking a look at. Wowzers. In case you're curious, the ink is Sailor Shikiori Yoza Kura. If you're someone who likes to print, um, this is a really nice nib for it. Even cursive, like it is beautiful. I didn't really notice the grind of the nib because I was using a different page and I think I was probably writing at a different angle. But it is a really well-tuned nib, very well adjusted. It is ground to work at, it seems like, high and low angles and it works really well. Very pleasant. So, let's give this baby away, shall we? Okay, all you gotta do is subscribe to me here on The Tubes Gourmet Pens. Leave a comment below. And let me know a couple things. Is there anything you would like luxury brands to carry? Like to distribute? And I'm going to put the, I'm going to have to type these instructions out, aren't I? And that's it, actually. Let's just do that. Let's make it nice and simple, shall we? Um, so just subscribe. Give the video a like. And let us know in a comment what you would like to see luxury brands carry. Or if they already carry what you like, what is your favorite thing? So you could check them out on their website. You can see what they carry. Uh, maybe you've been to a pen show and talked to them before. Now, this will be open for one week after the video goes up, after which I will pick a winner randomly and then I will pin the comment, like the winner's comment, in the comments below. So if you are notified that, or you get a comment back from me, it's because you won. And if a week passes and you haven't gotten the comment, then you can check to see who got pinned. So there we go, um, worldwide giveaway. And yeah, I'll ship it to the winner, all right? So we'll see you guys in a week. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did enjoy it, you're going to have to like and subscribe anyway. You can find me as Gourmet Pens on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Patreon, as well as Toronto Pen Company, Virtual Pen Show, and Toronto Pen Club. Okie dokie. Thanks, everybody. Take care. We will see you next time. Bye.